such a story that needs to be told. And I, I just want to talk to each of you about, you know, what the good lie means to you. Okay, yeah, the, the good lie, um, it means everything to me. This is, my, my life's changed because of it. Personally, I have a personal attachment to it because it's been a journey for me. Um, my father, well, some people may not know, but I come from a family of refugees, and my father's from South Sudan, but he passed away when I was very young. So it's very emotional for me. I grew up with no father, but doing a film like this, I, I feel much closer to him. I feel like I'm, I'm telling a part of his story and a part of my, my people's story, and I feel like I'm playing tribute to him. You know, I mean, hopefully he's watching down, and hopefully he's proud. Of, of, of what Margaret's written and, and what we've all managed to achieve in this film. So that's my personal attachment to the film. Um, the film is, is so important to me because I feel like we need to talk about this and we can all come together and, and help. And, and the story of, of these children and what they went through and coming to America and their families are still in refugee camps now. And <coughs> just it's shining a light on a place that's dark, but it's also really uplifting, this story. It's really, and it's, it's funny and, and they're so good in the film. They're, they're incredible in the film. For me, um, I mean, <laughs> I feel like I just recently came back from my country in that sense where this story really made me revisit what I had gone through. And I felt that um, it was, it gave me closure for everything that I had lost, all the people that I had lost. And it, I felt from the beginning, I always was very um, angry towards what had happened to me. And so now I feel like it's, it happened for a reason. And this is why I'm here. And you and I spoke last night. Yes. And I promised you that I was going to ask this question. <laughs> and we're going to, we're, we're, I'm going to ask it right now. Okay. Uh, people that see this film need to know that this is real. Mm -hmm. And we need to do something about this. And it, you told me last night. Exactly. I mean, I want them to know that this is still happening. And this is why um, the Good Life Fund is even created due to the it's fact that this is still an issue here. that's happening. And the reason why all of us are here is because of this story. And so I want the world to know that this is real people. These people went through this and they're still going through it. And we should be more concerned as humans. And, and also, you know, it's the power of film. Film has such, it, it, it can explain to you emotionally a subject matter in two seconds. That they can talk to you on the news, you can read about it in Time Magazine or read about it online, but you, you watch this film and you see this story and you go, I get it, I get it, oh my God, I'm, I'm there too. And I feel that the emotional power of film breaks through language, it breaks through culture, it breaks through politics, it breaks through religion in the best way possible. And so my goal with getting this made and why I was so driven for 11 years to try and get this film made was for that reason. <laughs>